everyone. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today I want to speak to you about a very controversial subject pertaining to protein intake. Okay? Many people are hesitant to consume more protein because they believe it speeds up aging due to its effect on hormone production, mTOR activation, and other bodily chemicals that increase tissue growth, oxidative stress, and cellular damage. You know, a lot of people are scared of this. Okay, it's understandable. Okay, <clears throat> the theory goes like this, okay, that reducing protein intake can lessen the unwanted side effects, um, reduce wear and tear in the body, and reduce our mortality chances. This is what we are being told. Okay, you're going to like this thing. The theory is nice, but research suggests that it is not correct. Okay, the problem is that all studies demonstrating that low protein diets can extend lifespan are in animals, especially and primarily mice. There's a problem with this, okay? Humans aren't rodents. We are not big mice. Okay? I don't think we are. Okay? Humans and mice, they share the same biological mechanism, that's why they're used in studies, but also have significant differences. Okay. For instance, Mouse metabolism burns about seven times more calories per pound of body weight than human metabolism, which is critical because the faster one's metabolism, the more cellular damage, cellular senescence, one accumulates from metabolic activity. That's a big difference, okay, from a human to a mouse. Therefore, my, my, a mouse, mice, would benefit much more from protein restriction which lowers metabolic activity than in humans. Another supporting point used by longevity experts is, hey, look at the people of the five blue zones of the world. They, they eat little protein and live the longest. So it must be a cause and effect. Okay? This is what they tell them. This is what you read, you see on YouTube, all this about the blue zones. However, this is a fallacious deduction. It's based on a mistaken belief. Really? Okay, let me, let me explain, okay? They forgot to mention that these blue zones are less stressed, eat lots of fermented foods, lots of fiber, they have overall happiness, are more physically active, they're always on the move, okay? And most importantly, many of them have a specific genetic marker associated with longevity. They have a special gene, a lot of them. That's why they live so long, with all these above factors. Okay. Now, researchers also want you to believe that the blue zones eat low protein diets. We are being embedded this constantly. Okay. Let me show you otherwise. It's far from the truth. Let's take a deep dive. I'm going to show you an example of how wrong this is. Okay? For example, let's look at Sardinia, a blue zone in Italy. It's a well Many people here in, in, in Sardinia live well into their hundreds, 90s, hundreds, a lot of centenarians. So, do they eat a small amount of protein? This is what's being read and what's being told all over the place. Okay? You're going to be shocked. The Sardinian diet is basically concentrated around high protein. But we have been told that they eat very little protein. Take a look at this graph showing the ordinary Sardinian diet. You can see this, right? 45% of their diet is whole grains, mostly barley. I want you to remember this, okay? 26% of their diet is dairy, especially sheep and goat's milk. Okay, now, 26%, that's a big chunk of their diet. And the other 5%, of their diet is meat, fish, and poultry, okay? I want you to remember these numbers, okay? Because I'm gonna get back to these. Am I missing something here? Because, I mean, when I started researching this, I couldn't believe what I was seeing, okay? Barley contains 23, gram, 23 grams of protein per cup. Please Google it if you don't believe me. Barley, it's extremely high in protein, okay? Goat's milk is the highest protein milk you can find. And sheep's milk is also high in protein. And this is a, these are staples in their diet. The rest is meat, fish, and poultry, 
also all high in protein, but that's only 5%, okay? But in total, 78% of their diet consists of high protein foods. Please remember this. This is, this is, this is frustrating that, that, that I'm finding this out. So, those are high protein, those are high protein diet decrease lifespan. Not according to Sardinians, okay? Let's take a further deep dive. Let's talk about leucine and methionine. Since scientists claim that they show the lifespan of humans because it raises IGF-1 and activates mTOR. So we must avoid these two amino acids to live longer. So we are being told. Does the Sardinian diet contain these two amino acids? <laughs> okay. Barley. Okay. Check this out. Barley is an excellent source of leucine. And a, a, good, a good source has a good amount of methionine. Okay. Barley. This is what... Check this out, okay? Goat's milk is an excellent source of leucine and methionine. Sheep milk is rich in leucine and methionine. Are you looking at this? As for fish, meat, and poultry, that needs no explanation. They are rich in leucine and methionine, okay? So, interesting, very interestingly, Sardinians consume substantial amounts of high-quality protein containing plenty of leucine and methionine, but yet are some of the longest-lived people on the planet. How do you explain that? Okay? The longevity scientists forgot to mention this part, didn't they? You know? Now, one more proof. Okay? Check this out. I'm putting a link to this article in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. Okay? But check out what the article says. I'm just going to emphasize parts of it. Let me, let me read this for you, okay? The diet of centenarians of Sardinia are rich in protein and fats. Okay? Then this part here. What do Sardinian centenarians put on their plate? Each of their meal is composed of an average of 70% vegetables, of which 20% is fruit because it contains a lot of sugar, and 30% of their diet is in lean proteins. 30%. And as for a snack, they eat dried fruit, olives, and cheese. And their cheese is high in protein because it's the famed pecorino cheese. We'll get to that later. <clears throat> okay. Here's another little, a quick example. But we're, I'm just gonna, Go to a different subject. Ikaria is another blue zone. Does Ikaria in Greece, do they eat high protein? Do they have high protein in their diet? Most, check this out. Most of their diet consists of high protein foods also. Check this out right here. Look at the food list. Last I heard, beans, fish, pig meat, goat meat, chicken, goat's meat and cheese, mushrooms, lentils, chickpeas, black eyed peas, all contain enormous amounts of protein. Okay, so the Ikoreans also eat high protein. But yet everyone is made to believe that Ikoreans eat a low protein diet. It's based mostly on plant plant based food, low protein. Okay. I can show this pattern with all the blue zones, but I think I think I'm making my point here. Okay. Now let's let's take a quick dive, a quick look at some studies. Check out the systematic review. It was conducted to see if high protein diets decrease lifespan. The results clearly show that there's no evidence supporting this. Now you, you could, I'm going to leave the link below so you can check it out yourself. The results in this, in this systematic review showed that for mortality, check it out, for mortality, the relationship between protein intake per se and all cause mortality is regarded as inconclusive. While the evidence assessed as suggestive regarding increased risk of all-cause mortality in relation to low-carb, high-protein diet with a total protein intake of at least 20 to 23 percent estimate in three studies, including four prospective cohorts. But here, however, we are not talking about low-carb diet with a high-protein diet. And even this is not conclusive. Okay. We are 
Scientists are speaking of a high protein diet in isolation. Okay, this is what we're talking about here, just high protein diet. There is no evidence that a high protein diet increases mortality. Okay? Now, here's something interesting. Check this, check this paper out. Mr. Vatalongo, PhD. Everyone knows Mr. Vatalongo. Published findings, recent findings in Cell Journal claiming that Sardinians are protein restricted because they eat minimal amount, minimal animal products. This is what he says. He goes, okay. However, this is highly misleading and incorrect. As I explained earlier, you don't have to eat meat or meat products to get protein. Sardines get a significant amount of complete protein, all amino acids, in their meals. In all their meals. Mainly from goats and sheep milk and their famed pecorino cheese. Potent, a potent cheese, powerful protein cheese, which are staple foods. All these are staple foods in the Sardinian diet. They live on this. Okay? I will close this video by saying that protein is essential for the building blocks of everything including your skin, neurotransmitters, your hormones. Ultimately, it is what life is made of. Protein. Proteins are molecules that play many vital functions in the body. They perform most of their work inside all our cells and assist in establishing and maintaining the structure, the function, and regulation of all our organs and tissues in our body. All the genes in our body make proteins. And they make protein out of the building blocks of protein we eat. Yes, all the genes. For scientists to boldly state that you should increase your protein intake only after you're 65 is absurd and ridiculous. How they get this magic number makes no sense to me. Okay? Everybody's not the same. High-protein diets before 65, they claim, decreases lifespan. This is what they say. So, I shouldn't eat protein before I'm age 65, or very little I should eat. Sarcopenia, which is loss of muscle tissue, starts long before you're 65. We begin to lose muscle in our 30s, especially people that that's work in offices, that don't work out much. So, let's stop eating protein and increase the risk of sarcopenia and die miserably in our 70s where you can't even get if you fall break a hip you're dead because you have weak, weak muscles as for myself I have eaten high protein diets my entire life 30% of my diet has consisted of protein and in the last year I opted to 40% my diet consists of 40% high quality protein I eat 3 grams per kilo of body weight today okay the thing is this if your body has a high percentage of muscle the body fat ratio, and the more you exercise, the older you are, the more protein your body will need. Okay, this is, I I am I have very little low fat, you know, I'm mostly muscular, so I need the protein. Okay, I will be making a future video explaining the detail on how I consume so much protein and why, why all the guys should consume more protein. Okay, I have zero I have zero medical issues. I have no I have no high blood pressure. I have nothing wrong with me. Okay? I'm almost sixty. Okay, so much for eating a low protein diet before 65, huh? I should be dead by now. All the protein I've eaten all my life. But yet, it's the complete opposite. As for me, I feel fantastic. I run like a kid. I move like a young man. Look, I'll see you, I'll see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Uh, a lot of these things don't make any sense. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense to eat low proteins. Everyone should eat high proteins, no matter what age. No matter what age, you're not gonna die. Okay? High protein does not make you die earlier. Okay? If anything, it's gonna help you. Okay? If when a person in their seventies, a lot of people in their seventies or eighties, for some reason they go to the hospital, I don't care if they catch a flu, and they lay down for seven days, even in your mid forties. 30s and mid-40s, you lay in a bed for a week, 10 days, you lose a lot of muscle tissue, man. Now, in the 40s, you can recuperate. 50s, 
you can recuperate. But when you're in the 70s, it's a death sentence. Okay? You lay in your bed for two weeks for whatever reason, it's like a death sentence for that, for that person. Because they are weak, they have no muscle tissue to have, to have helped them stay strong through that, through that inactivity for 7 to 14 days. Anyway, have a good day. Um, I hope this information helped. Um, I'm sorry to say this, but sardines are long-lived people, and they eat high protein, not low protein. They eat very high protein, probably even higher percentage than I have. These people are extremely active. They're farmers. They're always on the move. If they don't eat high protein, they're going to disintegrate. Anyway, have a great day, and I hope this information helps. Take it into consideration. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not a doctor. You know, do your own research. But please be mindful. Look at both sides. Don't just look at one side. Have a wonderful day, and see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.